Today I went to eat at a restaurant all by myself. Why did I do it? So now I went to a local shopping mall, big shopping center uh, for some other business and turned out I had to wait for an hour and a half or something. So I thought, well, I can't just sit here and wait. And um, the shopping mall is kind of located in a rural area, industrial area. And when you look out from the window, it's just a bunch of factories and chimneys, chemistry smokes in the air. There's there's really nothing pretty to shoot. So even though I had a camera with me, didn't shoot many video or photos. Uh, so how do I spend the time? Well, it was afternoon right after 2 p.m. So I thought, why not just go there and have some lunch I hadn't eaten yet so I went to the food center there's a giant circle thing uh, and there are all kinds of restaurants different brands different chain restaurants around this circle area in that shopping mall so I walked I took two two well I walked around two circles and two laps and I was I was trying to figure out what to eat? There are sushis, fast food, McDonald's, um, it's all kind of stuff. And then in the end, I chose a chain restaurant I really loved. I really liked the Old Wild West, you know, one of my favorite, because uh, I love hamburgers. So, also they have beer. That's another reason. So I I went there. I saw there a lot of people, so many people there, waiting a long line. I was like. There, there's also a, a sign outside the door that says uh, please wait for uh, somebody to accompany you to your seat so you have to wait for the waiter to assign a seat for you you can't just go in there and sit down uh, take the seat you have to wait for other people uh, for the staff to arrange it so I, I thought the line was for waiting for the waiter to appoint to assign a seat so I waited in the line for like five minutes and then I realized the line was actually a checkout to pay uh, to pay the bill there's a long line to pay the bill after eating so I realized I was wrong so I went out and I thought there's nobody around but in the end yeah I found the wait waitress she was back to her position it was super busy she was helping out some uh, other tables so i found her and i asked is there a table for one kind of a strange question right who goes to a restaurant alone that's kind of weird is it weird though is it weird is it weird is it do you ever go to a restaurant alone i this is my first time the first time i go to a restaurant alone uh i mean except McDonald's and stuff um, so I asked for a seat for one and she brought me to a little corner kind of corner uh, but next to a corridor and uh, I sat there it's really nice and I asked for a barbecue hamburger and a medium beer it's, uh, 0 0.5 liters it's really nice so I just sat there and waited and the beer came first and I took some sips and watched my phone and waited for the meal to come on the table and uh, yeah not so long after the meal came um, so it's very nice I uh, started eating uh, very slowly there are a lot of people there were a lot of people the restaurant was full so there's still a long line waiting to pay when I was sitting there waiting um, but as I ate People are going, leaving, people are finishing. So there are fewer and fewer people remaining. And I just took it took it slow because I had to wait for two hours, remember? So I, I, I was in no rush, even though that was kind of fast food restaurant chain. So it's like the, the faster the customer eats, the better. And the more food they take, the better, of course. Um, so I kind of feel, felt a little bit, a little bit obliged to eat fast and then I have to wait so I told myself no let's not rush I, I pay for this meal I, I have the right to sit on the table plus people are leaving so there are plenty of space so I just 
finish my meals slowly, very slowly, and uh, slowly drinking my beer and reading my phone, reading news and stuff, reading Reddit. And in the end, the waitress came, asked if you want something, do you want a coffee or something? I said, no, thank you, it's good. And she rushed away. And it made me feel like they were asking me just because they want me to add something more. They want to sell me coffee, they want to sell me dessert. Which I don't need, I have a half glass of beer in my hand and they ask me for if I want a coffee. I don't need coffee when I have half half glass of beer. So, but food is good, food is really good. I, um, I really liked the food there, it, um, the quality of the food is really consistent, it's always good. I, I always order barbecue hamburger like uh, 9 out of 10 times when I go there I order barbecue hamburger, I never change. And I paid and left 15 euros. So if this video doesn't make 15 euros for me, uh, what am I doing with my life, right? Why am I making this video if I don't make 15 euros on this video? Yeah, so that concludes it. That's it, my experience going to restaurant alone. Uh, when I left, uh, the restaurant was uh, half empty, it's just like most people are gone already. So this opens up a new opportunity for me. It, it triggers my curiosity. Curiosity. What if I go to a bar alone? Like I always thought, so who would go to a bar alone? I always go to a bar with friends. I always go to drink with my friends. Who would go to a bar on his own? Must be psychopath. Or somebody from the TV show. I always see on the TV show or in a movie, people walk into the bar and order a drink and just stand at the counter and start drinking and... Uh, I don't know, uh, strike up a conversation with a stranger next to him or with a bartender. That's something Im unimaginable for me as an introvert. How, how do you manage to walk into a bar alone and start a drink? It's, it's strange. But after this experience of uh, eating at a restaurant alone, I, I may found some courage to walk into a bar alone next time. Maybe I will just do it. Be the psychopath. Drink alone at a bar. Maybe find find some find some interesting people and talk to them. Just imagine, because I always I'm fascinated by the idea of going to a bar with a book, with a uh, physical paper book in your hand, and order a beer and sit there and just drink and read a book, have an enjoyable night without any electronic device. No phone, no internet, just sit there and read. Isn't that wonderful? It's what I read in Murakami's novel. One of the scene. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, if I want to try it, I will go to a bar or a slow restaurant instead of a chain restaurant where I had to, I guess subconsciously, I wanted to rush, finish my meal as soon as possible and get out of there because it's fast food chain. All right, that's it for this video. Um, Thanks for watching. Do you go to a restaurant alone? Do you go to a bar alone? Let me know in the comments.